Okay, geometry, we are looking at chapter 10, spatial reasoning, and basically 3D shapes. So we're going to start out with this, uh, this first short video looking at naming the shapes, but then in the, the second one, um, we're going to look at how to calculate some of the stuff, like the volume. So first, I have this here, and well, what can I do with it? Let's see. We, it says name each figure. Well, our figures kind of fall into four kind of main categories. I'll kind of split those up here. And we would have, you know, our pyramids. And I say kind of fall because they don't exactly. We have pyramids, and then we got prisms. And then we have uh, cones. And then we have cylinders. Now, the one that doesn't fit any of these is the sphere. It's that ball, and there's one right here. This is a sphere. I mean, it's that easy. Uh, but for pyramid, let's see what we got. Okay, so a pyramid, it's got a, a polygon base. So both prism and pyramid have polygon bases. Polygon base. And cones and cylinders... These have round bases or circle bases. And then here's where it starts to get a little bit interesting. Cones and pyramids are pointy, as in it's only got one base. And prisms and cylinders are not pointy, so let's cross it out. They have two bases instead. So how do we put this all together? Let's see what we have in this one. So here's, here's what I look for. I kind of ask myself, can I see two bases that are congruent? Uh, they're congruent bases. Two bases right here that are congruent, and I can. So if I kind of trace around this edge, there's one base edge, and then the bottom base edge is down here. So I have those two parts to it. Uh, so that tells me that this and this down here are bases. That's a base. And then these walls, you could say around the other edges, are, are the lateral or the wall edges, however you want to call them, the wall faces. So we have this base and this base. That's how you name it because we would say, oh, it's a prism because it's got a polygon base and there's two of them. Uh, but then we'd see how many sides. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a hexagonal prism. I'm going to kind of cheat and just say hexagon prism. Let's look at this next one. Okay, I see a polygon base, and in fact, it's a square. So that's a square base. So it can't be cylinder, and it can't be a cone, and it can't be, well, what else could it be? It's pointy. Pointy. So because it's pointy, it's a pyramid. So it's a square pyramid. So that's the general idea there. Let's let's compare it to one other real quick. And this one here, number six. Taking a look at that one, I'm like, oh, wait, it kind of looks like a pyramid because it's got a top. It's not pointy. It has sharp edges, but there's no actual point where everything converges like this one, a point where all these little points of the star come together. Because it has these three pieces, it's kind of more on its side. Because if you look, this here is like a triangle base, and then this here in the background is the other triangle base. And then we have those walls kind of going around horizontally. So then that would make this a polygon base, so that's a prism. And there's two of them. That's why it's a prism, because it's not pointy like this down here. And I would say it's a triangular prism. This is probably one of the more confusing ones. Not really that confusing, but people tend to confuse it because they think triangle pyramid automatically, like a triangle couldn't be a prism. But in fact, it could be, and there it was. Okay, so that's the basics with those, the, the real short video. And then in the next one, we'll look at volume.